okay we'll see now today the topic matrix under that we are solving a system of linear equation we are solving the system of equation by adjoint method so we are uh, we are seeing the example directly we are having a three equations with three unknowns unknowns are here x y z we have to solve this system of equation means we have to find out the value of x y z which will satisfy all these three equations okay to uske liye bhi hum इसको एडजॉइंट मेथड से सॉल्व करेंगे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई राइट ऑन द मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म फॉर दिस सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन आई एम कलेक्टिंग द कोविशन फाइव थ्री थ्री टू सिक्स माइनस थ्री एट माइनस थ्री टू टू इन इन टू द वन मैट्रिक्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द कोविशन मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लाई टू द एक्स वाई जेड इक्वेटेड टू फोर्टी एट एटी नाइन ट्वेंटी वन ओके नाउ आई डिन नोट फॉर आर कन्वीनियंस दिस एज ए इट इज एज एक्स एंड दिस इज बी दैट वी हैव मैंशन यर ए एक्स एंड बी नाउ after that what we do we find out the inverse for this matrix inverse by adjoint method so we are having the formula that is inverse by adjoint method and that formula is nothing but a inverse is equals to 1 upon determinant of a and it is adjoint of a so our first job is to find out this value that is determinant of a so we calculate the determinant of a just take a determinant here it is a 3 by 3 matrix we are having it's a 3 by 3 determinant we can solve this manually or you can use calculator as well to get this value of the determinant so if i solve this by manually i write in the 5 here leaving this column in the row take a cross multiplication we get this 3 then i uh, write in the minus 3 because we are expanding by the first row minus 3 then leaving this column in the row remaining element ko cross multiply kiya we get this then plus 3 leaving this column in the row multiply this two element we are having this is minus 54 now after that just adding this one we get the minus 231 which is not equals to 0 that means matrix a is a non singular matrix if matrix a is a non singular matrix we say the a inverse exist okay now we calculate the adjoint adjoint of a so adjoint of a is having the definition as it is a nothing but the transpose of matrix of cofactor aapko matrix of cofactor nikalna hai fir uska transpose lena hai that define the adjoint of a so we find out first of all the matrix of cofactor so how to get the matrix of cofactor the a is given to you this is the a which is same as this one okay we use this one here so to get the matrix of cofactor i calculate the cofactor for the each element each nine element how to get a cofactor here one just rule you have to remember for finding the cofactor we use this sign convention plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus and this is plus तो यहाँ पे चार जगह पे माइनस है दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर जस्ट नाउ टू गेट दिस को फैक्टर फॉर दिस फाइव आई लीव दिस कॉलम आई लीव दिस रो देन रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट जो बचे हुए हैं उनका क्या करेंगे हम क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सिक्स इंटू टू माइनस माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस थ्री दैट इज प्लस नाइन ओके दैट आई एम राइडिंग ईयर ट्वेल्व माइनस नाइन द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट देन सेकेंड एलिमेंट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द साइन कन्वेंशन एज बाय माइनस वन यहाँ पे माइनस आ जाएगा उसके बाद देन Uh, to get the cofactor for this three, I leave this column. I leave this row. The remaining elements are two minus three, eight and two. Take a cross multiplication of that. Two into two, four. Then minus of this two quantity, minus minus get plus. Eight into three, twenty-four. So it is four plus twenty-four. That is here four plus twenty-four with a minus sign. Again, similarly we calculate for the third element. That is for this three. Leaving the column in the row. Take a cross multiplication. and then we are having this minus 6 into minus 48 वैसे फिर next element fourth element five element six element sabhi ke liye aapke aap, aapko cofactors nikalne hain with this sign convention now simplify this we have the matrix of cofactor now we take a transpose of this to so that we will get here what adjoint of a so this will be the adjoint of a and now we calculate the inverse by adjoint of a the formula is 1 upon determinant of a and adjoint of a so determinant of a is minus 231 already calculated adjoint of a abhi nikala humne and then uh, for my convenience i take this minus 1 inside har ek element ko multiply kar denge so that will be the our a inverse nahi kiya to bhi chalega it is also correct this is also the a inverse now after that we have to find out the solution solution for this that system of linear equation so for that we have just uh, reduced the equation into this simpler form ax equals to b so main isko yahan pe consider karta hu that ax equals to b and now i have to use this a inverse Which was calculated by the adjoint method. So, usko use करने के लिए I multiply this equation by a inverse to both the side. I multiply by the a inverse here and as well as the a inverse here. 
so a inverse into a it is nothing but i by the definition of the inverse and then i into x will be it is x because identity matrix multiplied to the any matrix gives the same matrix okay the next equals to we are having the a inverse b a inverse calculated which is there into b b is the what rhs part of the equation that is 48 18 and 21 that we have written it is a constant column matrix now take a multiplication of these two matrix this is the matrix of the order 3 by 3 this is the matrix of the order 3 by 1 so this 3 matches with this 3 that means the multiplication is possible and new matrix will have the order 3 by 1 use calculator or do manually so we have this 3 by 1 matrix after multiplication now dividing by the 231 to this 3 quantities we have 3 5 6 so we are having value of x as 3 y as 5 and z as equals to it is 6 so this is the method to solve system of linear equation by adjoint method so by adjoint method means we are finding the inverse by adjoint method actually okay it is also called as the matrix inversion method so because we are finding the inverse here then by uh, using that inverse we are solving this system of equation okay thank you